What's up everyone? Me and Dude here. And today we're going to finish off all of the weapons related tips videos with an overview of tail guns in Planetside 2. But before we get started, a common mistake for new crews is using the tail gun as a primary anti-air option instead of using their belly gun. You have to force yourself to think of the tail gun as only supplemental damage so that you can defend yourself correctly with your belly gun first. First think of how much more damage your belly can do over your tail gun and then think of all that potential damage you're losing in the long run just because only your tail gun has angle. Anyway, with that mini lecture out of the way, let's get started with the stock tail gun, which is the Drake. In short, the Drake is a hard hitter with relatively small damage drop off, but the projectile velocity is low enough for it to be hard to use and I don't recommend it for new gunners. Use the Drake when you want more damage than the Walker, but also higher projectile velocity when compared with the Bulldog, but you have slightly more damage consistency when you're hunting armor and air. I personally really like the Drake and I think it has the potential of being the best hybrid anti-air and anti-armor option in terms of its damage and damage consistency again with a really good gunner. Next up is the Walker, which is the most commonly used anti-air option. The Walker has the least damage of all the tail guns, but makes up for it in ease of use and damage consistency. The combination of having the highest tail gun projectile velocity and a small cone of fire makes this weapon very noob friendly and it's good for keeping at least minimum damage pressure while cancelling a target's nanites. Consider the walker if you're dogfighting from higher ranges or have a lower skilled tail gunner that needs something that's easier to shoot. I mostly pair the walker with a Dalton or a shredder when I'm focusing on just anti-air or anti-armor and maybe zephyr and duster but only when I have a 2 out of 3 lip. It gives my belly gunner the option of easily finishing off air that's on fire that's hard to hit from render range and then he can just peck at it and finish them off. Next up is the bulldog and the bulldog is the lib's primary anti-infantry tail gun option that is able to kill infantry in 3 direct hits and ESFs in 2 direct hits. For 2 out of 3 libs, Bulldog is a great anti-infantry option if you're running Shredder or Dalton. If you're running a full 3 out of 3 lib, Bulldog is versatile enough to use in both anti-infantry and anti-armor loadouts. But just remember, if you're attacking armor with Bulldog, you want to be as close as you can since the projectile velocity isn't as great as it used to be. For anti-air, the Bulldog is definitely viable, but your gunner has to be really good and you have to be okay with dying in situations where a more consistent anti-air option could have saved you. If you're okay with fighting off air less consistently, especially with less experienced gunners, go ahead and use it for anti-air and anti-armor. The most recently changed tail gun at the time of making this video is the Hyena. The cone of fire got smaller, lock on distance is now equal to coyotes and it is no longer affected by stealth. The weapon has gotten some really nice buffs that take it from total garbage to usable but I'm not sure where it will land in terms of the quote unquote meta but for now I'd say it's solid. It can be used to hit armor and infantry, but its main use is for anti-air situations, especially versus ESFs because of their low health pool and the fact that the hyena has no drop off since it's an explosive round. On a side note, I feel like this buffed version of the hyena would be top tier in the PS4 version of Planetside 2. Tracking your target is generally harder on console and having supplemental damage with this level of consistency and no damage drop off is pretty nice. But of course, take my perspective on the console game with a huge grain of salt since I haven't even unlocked my lib on console. But in the end, choosing a tail gun comes down to personal preference. 
There is much less of a tear gap in between options unlike the nose gun and the belly guns. So the only true outlier I can really think of is using Bulldog for AA situations instead of using the other three options. My personal preference though leans towards loadouts that are more specialized. For example, Bulldog with Zephyr Duster for anti-infantry farm or Drake with Shredder Dalton for maximum damage against air and armor. I try and focus my loadout on a certain type of farm so that when I try and find fights I can attempt to maximize my certain income. Having said all that I think it's time to wrap up and as always I hope you guys found this video helpful. We finally covered all of the weapons for the Liberator so I'm really glad these loadout guides will be out there in the vast internet tubes and can constantly help new crews in Planetside 2. Thanks you guys for watching and I hope you guys check out my next videos too. Peace!